Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to use Le Chatelier's principle to predict the effects of changing the temperature on reversible reactions at equilibrium. You should then be able to describe the effect of catalysts on the position of equilibrium. We've already seen how Le Chatelier's principle can be used to describe the effect of changing concentration and changing pressure on reversible reactions. Le Chatelier's principle states that when an external change is applied to a system at equilibrium, the equilibrium moves in the direction that reduces the effect of that change. In this video, we're looking at how Le Chatelier's principle can be applied to changes in temperature. I'm showing you here the equation for the Haber process, which is used to produce ammonia. Now the enthalpy change for the forward reaction is minus 92 kilojoules per mole. Because the enthalpy change has a negative sign, this tells us that the forward reaction is exothermic. What that means is that if the reaction moves in the forward direction, energy is released, and this release of energy would cause the temperature of the system to increase. Now a key idea you need to understand is that if the forward reaction is exothermic, then the reverse reaction must be endothermic. So in the case of the Haber process, if the reaction moves in the reverse direction, energy is taken in, and this would cause the temperature of the system to decrease. So imagine that this reaction has reached equilibrium. What will happen to the position of the equilibrium if we increase the temperature? Well, increasing the temperature means that we've applied an external change. Le Chatelier's principle tells us that the equilibrium will move in the direction that reduces the effect of that change. So if we increase the temperature, the equilibrium will move in the direction that reduces the temperature. In other words, increasing the temperature will move the equilibrium towards the left. Because the reverse reaction is endothermic, the reaction will take in energy and the temperature will decrease. On the other hand, if we reduce the temperature, then the equilibrium will move towards the right. Because the forward reaction is exothermic, energy will be released and the temperature will increase. Here's another reaction. In this case, the enthalpy change for the forward reaction is plus 57 kilojoules per mole. I'd like you to use Le Chatelier's principle to predict how the equilibrium will change if we increase and decrease the temperature. So pause the video now and try this yourself. OK, from the enthalpy change, we know that the forward reaction is endothermic and the reverse reaction is exothermic. If we increase the temperature, the equilibrium will move in the direction which reduces the temperature. Since the forward reaction is endothermic, increasing the temperature will move the equilibrium towards the right. However, if we reduce the temperature, the equilibrium will move towards the left. This is because the reverse reaction is exothermic and will release energy, increasing the temperature. OK, now many reversible reactions are relatively slow at room temperature, so we often use a catalyst to increase the rate of these reactions. Now a key idea you need to understand is that catalysts increase the rate of both the forward and reverse reactions by the same amount. So that means that catalysts have no effect on the position of equilibrium. Using a catalyst simply means that the reaction reaches equilibrium faster than if we did not use a catalyst. In the next video, we look at what's meant by the equilibrium constant. 